The first piece you will see is my hand sketch. For this piece, I drew with a pencil and worked with the concept of shading and value. Next, you will see my cut paper relief project. I viewed this project as a way to relieve stress. Using an X-Acto knife, I worked with the concept of rhythm and movement to create this piece. Now you will see my self-portrait. I started this by using a pencil to sketch myself from a picture. Next, I drew and outlined the Empire State Building. Then I found scraps to collage a background and cut letters out of magazines to form song lyrics. In this piece, you will see contrast, line, texture, and color. Here, you will see my one-point perspective piece of a fashion show. I used a pencil and worked with shading to create this piece. First, I drew the runway, then the spectators and paparazzi, and finally the models. I concentrated on value for this particular piece. Next, we have the clay dreamscape plaque. The assignment for this project was to represent a dream that we have. I took this idea a little left of the true meaning by representing something that I fear in the near future. I included the elephant because they symbolize riches, which is something everyone should wish for. The bird of paradise symbolizes freedom. The Chinese symbol means courage, and the road that leads you to nowhere symbolizes the uncertainty of the life we have ahead of us. In this project, you will see contrast, emphasis, color, and texture. Now, you will see my personal favorite piece. This piece focuses on shading and value by using a grid technique. I used a pencil to play with these concepts and recreate this picture from the internet. Here, you will see the color wheel project. We were to create the color wheel in any fashion that we chose using only the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Next, you will see the four panel quilt project. I worked with Houston Bennett to create this project, which focused on radial symmetry, approximate symmetry, asymmetry, and symmetry. This quilt was done with markers and then sewn together to give it a true quilt feeling. We focused on unity, contrast, form, line, color, and balance. Now you will see my layered quilt painting. For this piece, we use gesso and tempera paint to layer and texturize the piece. I use multiple colors for the background because I feel as though I cannot be described by a single color. In it, you will see texture, color, and unity. My complementary color landscape painting is the piece that I am most proud of. Here, we were to use only one set of the complementary colors. I chose red and green. In this piece, you will see unity, value, and color. Here, you will see my repeated elements piece. I used chalk to create this piece. We were to focus on all the elements and principles of design and combine two elements per object, in my case, an elephant. I worked with all the elements, but my favorite elephant became the one with buttons. Next, you will see my stop motion movie. I worked with Amber Townsend and Jordan Calhoun to create this movie.
Now you will see one of my sketchbook drawings for the word popularity. I decided to take a spin on the Ugly Duckling story. I used colored pencils to show color and value. Here you will see another sketchbook drawing for the word heights. I used colored pencils to represent color and shape. Next, you will see my sketchbook. I used tissue paper to cover the paper and then added a contrast with lace. I feel as though this book describes my personality because of its contrast in colors. Next, I have inserted a portion of my lyrical dance solo to At Last by Beyonce. And here we are in heaven. So after all of this, one might be thinking, what is art? Is art a famous painting like this one titled Guernica by Pablo Picasso? Or maybe this church in Barcelona, Spain? What about this sculpture of forks? Even though it is outlandish, it was created with an imagination and is portrayed as art. How about my favorite dance company called Momix? Dance is art, right? Maybe you would think this dance painting by Degas is more art than the previous picture, but not me. I see the Momix picture as being more of an art form than the other painting, though I won't dispute that they are both art. So what is art? Art is what you believe it to be. It is as in-depth as you wish for it to be. From sculptures, to paintings, to architecture, to physical art forms such as dance, art is everything you could imagine, and then so much more.